Okay, so let's talk about your values. Values are things that are important to you, traits that are important to you. So you can have values, like you value family, or you value honesty, or you value success and achievement. There's so many different things that you can value in your life that the list is literally limitless. But here's the thing, a lot of times, when we think about values, we are responsible for upholding our values. And sometimes we don't necessarily do that. I've um, been on coaching calls where I ask a client about their values and we realize that they're not really living up to the values that they put out or the values that they hold dear in their lives. And it's easy to do because we all get wrapped up in work or other things that are going on in our lives because guess what? Life does continue to happen. And so I wanted to just kind of take this conversation back to your, to your values and for you to remember what those are and to refocus and start really living up to your values. So I have a couple things that will help you do that. First, I want you to remember what's important to you, right? Remember what is important to you. Why did, why was this a value in the first place, right? One of the things that um, I say is a value for myself is family. Over this last couple of years, I've been literally in a PhD process and that has taken up a lot of my time. And I've been wrestling back and forth with the value of, you know, higher education or just, you know, being my very best self and also spending time with my precious babies and my husband. And so I have to like really figure out like how to manage the value of family because I had this goal over here to complete my PhD. And so I had to really come back and be like, okay, what's important to me? <laughs> my family is important to me. So let me try to make time for them and then everything else can wrap around um, the time that I spend with my family. So that might be something that will help you as well. Remember what's important to you. Why are you doing what you're doing anyway? Do you, do you value honesty? There's so many things that you can value, but remember what's important to you and ask yourself, are you upholding that value in your life? Number two is set hard boundaries around your values. If it is achieving and really getting to the next you know, level on your job, okay, so that's what you do, right? If it is completing a major project like a PhD, then you have got to give time to that thing, right? Anything that we value is going to take time. We are going to have to dedicate some time to the thing that we value. The other thing a lot of people say is I value my health. I really want to be healthy, but you don't work out or you don't eat healthy. <laughs> so you, you've got to be congruent with what you say you value. If you value your health, then you're gonna have to put in the time and energy to be able to exercise or either eat right or both, Prefer preferably blo both, right? Um, but you, if that's your value, then you have to value that. And the last thing is, ask someone to hold you accountable. I know that, you know, sticking to our values sometimes is very, very difficult, but you can do it by asking somebody to hold you accountable. And so every weekend when I'm working on my PhD, I'll tell my husband or my sister or my best friend something, I'll tell them what I'm doing. And by the time I'm finished, they always ask me, did you get done what you wanted to get done? And I can either say yes, or I can either say no. But at the end of the day, I know they're gonna hold me accountable for what I say. So ask somebody to hold you accountable to living up to your values because we all need somebody. So I hope that these little tips helped you really live up to your values on today. All right, take care. Until next time.